Hey guys and ladies, welcome to Zip Gaming Online, and today we're gonna be talking a little about something that I don't normally do. And it's basically about, well, a certain game. This game I play a lot on my own, and the whole point why I'm doing this is because people are complaining about, oh my god, you know, non-lethals are so fucking bullshit it's you know they well they point out to hacking and stuff like that just accusations really but it's enough to irritate me to actually want to make this video and this is completely you know not monetized and all of that just because I want to get the point across and you know what if this video actually makes you want to play APB then great because I could use a few friends to play along with me <clears throat> now that non-lethals are this weapon that you can use to actually take down an enemy just like that and then you can arrest the enemy just like so this is very annoying for the people that got caught and very useful for the people who caught them although arresting somebody does open you up to enemy attacks as well because generally it's so much easier to just kill a person without actually arresting them. Arresting them requires you to actually stun them and then running up towards them and then arresting the person in question. <coughs> now then, the problem with that is when you actually play the game and you might actually risk your um, safety you actually have the problem of going there being shot at and potentially getting killed without actually doing anything so what's up with that right however people people seem to completely miss the point when it comes to non-lethals non-lethals are very viable for anyone to use under most conditions because it is very strong. The weapon that I'm using right now, the uh, pistol-like thing that you see me carrying, was the stab a pig, which is the uh, basically the taser. And the rifle that I was using previously is the uh, stab a CCG, which is this one. So why is it that these things are useful and strong and all of that? Because, just like any other gun that you'll find in APB, weapons are very, very much depend on the circumstances. Certain weapons are more, uh, are more powerful in certain circumstances. In this one, I'll show you how to and why non-lethals are very strong. And this is the trick that I always use, this is the trick that you can use, and this is the trick why people call me hacking. So, shoot a little bit with the uh, Stava CCG, just like that, and then just run around, find a nice spot, that's it, taze it like that. They go down immediately, alright? You could even use a grenade and then taze the enemy and it will immediately go into a stun. It's so easy to stun a person with this weapon that it's downright ridiculous not to use it, right? And however strong it seems like, it's only because, you know, as a player you're using it correctly. As an enemy fighting this, you can actually do it to kind of avoid situation like this by, well, try to keep your distance. Stab a pig, which is the taser, again, is very short ranged. And the whole point why it's so strong is because you have to be ridiculously close to it. All right? But when used right, it's ridiculously strong, as you can see here. A few shots, bow. There you go. I just took down a guy with an automatic shotgun, just like that. Less than a second. 
He doesn't even have time to actually realize what he got hit with. And that's the strength of non-lethals. It's so easy to take down an enemy with non-lethals that you have to be very wary of non-lethals. You have to do it the way that the weapons are meant to, do, to be used. And you have to actually choose the place that you're willing to fight in. Just like if you're using a close range weapon, you try to actually ambush an enemy inside a building or right around the corner, stuff like that. <clears throat> That's why you don't use a sniper rifle fighting a person with a light machine gun right in front of you. You just don't do that because it's not, it's not good for you to use it. Check this out. See? It's very easy. It doesn't matter how much rage the enemy got just shooting at you with different kind of guns. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, if you use any gun, anything at all, and then shoot the enemy with a stab of pig, they go down. There is no tricks, there is no hacks, there is nothing but you as a player choosing the right time, the right spot to force an enemy into this very close range confrontation that you know you will win if you're using the right weapons. So the problem is a lot of people complain, why is it useful? Well, because of that. See how far I can actually shoot with the Stabba CCG. If I were to actually engage in a combat with an enemy on a longer range, I could actually use the Stabba CCG to do that. It actually does a lot of damage and the enemy will actually notice as the screen goes darker. It's actually enough to actually want to make them walk away. But should they not, you know as a player you still have the ability to actually use your stab a pig. As you can see here, you can take a fair amount of damage, right? And the enemy is doing a good amount of damage to you and you're doing a good amount of damage to him however he does not possess any weapon that can kill you that can put you down instantly so they can try as much as they want to actually say oh it's you know it's hacking because you take me down in one shot well no it's because i need to actually put a bullet in you even once and then just switch to my stab a pig and the thing is over and done with. They will not even be able to retaliate. And what's good about it is that you can kind of juggle your enemy. As you can see, boom. Wait for it. There you go, we got it. And then just a single shot. That's all we need. And he goes down. We got him. Simple as that. It really is that simple. And, uh, well, thanks, um, our teammate for not being, for being such a good shot, really, actually. So, let's thank that. There you go. But, yeah. So, the point has been made that any gun, really, depending on the situation, is viable as a weapon. It really depends on you as a player to actually use it the way that it's meant to. So... Again, this is pretty much like a PSA. Hopefully you guys actually learned something from this. And, uh, you know, again, if, if you already played APB, well, go ahead and give, you know, non-lethal weapons a try because it might actually change the game. It certainly did for me. <laughs> I know that. A lot of people hated me for that, but it is what it is. And, guys... If you if you see people with stab -a guns in your team, don't immediately say that oh, they are bad and you try to kick them off the team immediately because a lot of people do that. So don't do that. It really depends on the player. 
and really when it comes right down to it it really matters as a team to actually work together and combat whatever tactics that you have because stun the worst enemy of stun is a good team with that being said i hope you guys actually learned something and uh, if you like this well hit a like but yeah that's the end of it i'll see you guys on the next video